you big, beautiful mistake of a human being. You glass raised in a hand, a bar drinking, sexy mother, shut your mouth. You gray tsunami, you perfect imperfection, you unicorn that smells of baloney and has great jokes. Who told you had permission to steal Paul Newman's eyes and his coolness and put it in your poems? Share the last name of a famous man as any wonder I always pictured you wearing some kind of cowboy boots and strolling off into the sunsets when you told me you lived in the northwestern region. I figured you meant like Montana. <laughs> Somewhere where men were still men and still plowed and tilled and slaughtered animals with their bare hands. How dare you write poems inside of tornadoes and call them beautiful? Come on! Leave us lonely the way you did. You had more class in losing than most motherfuckers I know do in winning. You rarely won anything of merit, but that is what gave you merits. Like Jesus, you were a carpenter. Humble and quiet with your tools, you would walk into rooms with a pocket full of papers, read your poems, and sneak out before we even knew the tears on our face were our own loved me like a father should love a child, never asked me about my past, indiscretions, where I came from, what I used to do for a living, just simply accepted me based upon the last poem you ever heard me read, and isn't that what we all want? To be judged on the last poem we ever read, and the last one I heard you read was better than anyone all right from this one going forward, did Jack? You beautiful accidental fire. You arsonist afraid of matches. You bleeding lamb in the middle of a sacrificial table. You lion who gave up his mane for some little girl in a cancer ward because he knew what really gave him his pride was his pride. You accidental truth. You Zeus who has gotten amnesia and decided to walk amongst us humans for a while. You Poseidon who passes out sea foam like friends at a bar pass out drinks. We leave a shot for you at the end of the bar just in case you decide to come back. In case it was all just a trick. Maybe someone photoshopped those tubes in your nose and your family is in on the whole thing. Your family has so many colors that a Benetton ad wouldn't even do it justice. You left us not homeless, but hopeful, full of possibilities of what could be if we simply were true to ourselves, you true to yourself, nature. You Captain Kirk and Spock making good love while a whore watches on and cheers them on. You drink that never gets rolled because it never needs to burn. You smooth bourbon bonfire. You forest ablaze with blue light specials. You Miles Davis whispering I'm sorry on his deathbed. You John Coltrane deciding that hip hop is the future of America. You America. I will always miss you without even ever fully have knowing more than what I needed, which was a handshake and a smile and a how you doing and a private dirty joke involving Catholics and the Pope. <laughs> you never were too tired to say hello. And you always made sure to say I love you before walking away. How dare you be a better white man of a father than my black one ever was. I will always love you and miss you. I will write you poems on the other side, and we will haiku battle until we decide Sun Tzu is sick of our shit. Because in the end, all you were was perfect. And that's all we could ever aspire to be. In five, four, three, two.